Nothing I do turns out right. I am a failure. No one loves me. I am so stupid. I am so ugly. The world is against me. No one will come near me. I am going to die soon. I can't stop sinning. God is not going to heal me. I deserve to be treated wrongly. Why are you speaking to yourself this way? Well, Kevin, it is true. I am just venting. Okay, listen. There is no such thing as venting. When you speak, you are placing life into your words. God has given us, God has given humans authority over this world. So when you speak, you are not just speaking words. You are either speaking curses or blessings. Your words are not just words. Your words have power. What if I told you, I want you to hold this container of acid? Okay, will you begin to shake that container up and down any way that you want to? No, because it is acid. <laughs> like, if you handle it wrongly, <laughs> you are going to hurt yourself. Are you going to open the container and place your finger inside? <laughs> of course not, because it is acid. It is going to burn you. It is going to destroy you. Are you going to place that container of acid in your refrigerator or somewhere that you are always at? Of course not, because you can't handle acid wrongly because hey it can kill you okay your words you are handling your words in the wrong way it is killing you for many people their own words are condemning themselves. Their own words are hurting themselves. I believe I have told you all that God has given us authority over this world. Demons want to kill us. When you speak negatively about yourself or other people, demons are waiting there, waiting for you to say something foolish about yourself or other people. So if you continue to say that you are ugly, you are stupid, you always doing things wrong, my Lord, they are going to make it happen much more. Why are you using your words why are you allowing demons to use your words more against you when demons are trying to harm you in the first place? You are helping that demon out to destroy you. Words are not just words. I don't know how many times I have to tell people this. You can't just speak anything that comes to your mind. If you do that, your life, are, your life is going to become worse. You can't just say any foolish thing and believe that you are venting. That is not venting. You are cursing yourself. Venting, no such thing as venting. If I know that demons are attacking me, why in the heck would I say bad things about myself? when demons are attacking me. That is foolish. Why am I going to help my enemy to attack me? 
my Lord. So when you speak, stop speaking negative things about yourself. Speak positive things about yourself in faith. For instance, nothing I do turns out right. How can you change that? Everything I do is blessed by God. Well, Kevin, I can't say that because it is not true. When you speak in faith, you are not looking at your current situation. When you are speaking in faith, you are speaking in the standpoint of what you are believing in God for and what you are trusting in God for. You are not looking at how things are now. Faith. Your faith is not by sight. Your faith is not by the way that you feel. Your faith is not by the way that you think. Your faith is based upon your belief in God. So when you say that everything is blessed by God, by what I do, I forget how I said that. Everything I do is blessed by God. When you say that, you are speaking in faith. You are not lying. Your faith is not based upon your earthly senses. Your faith is based upon your belief and trust in God. On what you are believing that he is going to do for you. You speak by that standpoint, not by how things are you, how things are for you now. I am a failure. How can you change that? I am a winner. Well, Kevin, that is not true. Like I said, your faith is not based upon how things are for you now. It is based upon your belief and your trust in God, what you are believing in God for. So when you are believing in God for it, of course you don't see it because why would you believe in God for it if you already have it? I believe I can walk. Well, if you are already walking, why don't you know that you can walk? There is no point in believing that you can walk when you know that you can walk. If you can't walk, then you can say, I believe I can walk. But if you are able to walk, you won't say, I believe I can walk. You can say, I know I can walk. Your words are not just words. Stop using it so carefree. Your words have power, so much power. Don't go around people who just speak negatively all the time. Man, my Lord. When you see people speaking negatively all the time, their life is a mess. Chances are their life is a mess. How can't it be? How can't it not be that way when they are speaking curses all the time? Aren't you going to reap whatever you sow? So how can you expect your life to be better when everything or almost everything that comes out your mouth is negative. Negative this, negative that. Hardly no good things come out your mouth, but you expect to be blessed by God. That is crazy. I tried to teach people this, some people. Some people may get it, but some people just want to stay ignorant toward it. You have to change yourself. I used to speak negatively as well, but I learned 
back when I was in sin, when I would speak negatively, it would hurt me more. It would drag me down in the dumps more. I don't want to feel that way. So I changed at that point of time a bit about how I spoke. Your words are not words. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, of your words. If it was not so, why would the Bible say it? That is power, death and life. Death and life are in your words. Like your words have that power. That is telling you that your words are not just ordinary. Stop using your words in a very foolish manner. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.